Hey guys, it's X, and we are getting back into the StarCraft campaign. Back in Joey Ray's bar. I'm actually recording this the same night as the previous episode. Ooh. Oh, okay, it's not a cinematic, it's just loading the bar. There we are. And we've actually already seen all of these, so... Wait, spending credits. Oh, we can't yet. Uh, Rainer earns credits for completing missions. Once you get access to the armory, you will be able to spend credits on upgrades for your units. So that's pretty cool. With the artifact secure, you need to wait for transport at Backwater Station before you can leave Marsara. Transportation is on the way. Caution is advised. Dominion security forces may succeed in tracking the artifact to the station. Okay, so the Dominion is after us, and we are now armed with a new unit, or a new building in this case, which is the bunker, which allows me to save, safely store four marines inside, or two fire bats, or two marauders, or any combination of those, so long as you don't take up more than four unit slots, uh, and it'll protect those units while they gain in while they gain increased range, so it's a defensive building. I've got transport coming to pick us up. All we gotta do is sit tight. Don't sound too hard. I figure we earned ourselves a little R&R. &R. Commander, I'm detecting a massive concentration of Zerg biosignatures landing at the abandoned dig site. I should have known it. Damn you, Tychus. I swear, man, I didn't know nothing about no Zerg. Given their current course, the Zerg will overrun this location within the hour. Yeah. We gotta hold out long enough for extraction. If we man the bunkers and hold those two bridges as long as we can, we just might stand a chance. <laughs> We're gonna have a real fight on our hands here. I've been in plenty of holdouts before. Not against the Zerg, you ain't. I don't know. Slaughtering endless waves of Zerg seems like R&R &R to me. These guys are a little too stressed. This should be a cakewalk, right? What's going on? Gonna load these bunkers up with these marines. Gonna select these marines as a separate group and move them where they need to go. We can also train up these medics if we get some tech labs on these, which we will be doing. I wonder what the bonus missions are for this. Oh, I, I can attack these buildings. Whoa! Zerglings. Whoa. Start up a bee's nest. Here they come. Lock and load. Pull back behind the bunker. Let the bunker do its thing. No reason to get in trouble with those those units. Okay, so we can't really leave the base. Get some SCVs repairing those bunkers. Okay, okay. Okay, so we've got one SCV doing that. You can actually set repair to auto cast, and it is auto casting. So you just set the SCV nearby. To anyone hearing this message, we're pinned down near Backwater Station. Please assist. Okay, so these guys need some help. We can actually go help them with the forces we've got. We we'll get some medics rolling in just a minute. Save these guys. Go, go, go. <sighs> Thought we were gunners there. Been no man, you're fine. Actually, I think I'll. Uh, I don't know quite yet. My hotkeys are still messed up. I'm not used to playing Terran. 
I am a Zerg player, for those of you who would be wondering. We got one SCV repairing at the moment. That's a pretty large stream of Zerg, but I think we're okay. A Roach and Hydra? Oh! Okay, we need some medics coming out now. Additional supply depot. Multiple air bogeys detected. ETA? Right the hell now. Of course. Not enough minerals. Doctor is in. So my turrets took out those minerals fairly easily. Not enough minerals. I'm gonna build a couple more of these turrets and get this SEV to actually patrol this area. Yeah. Wait, I hear attacks. Where? Oh, they're destroying those structures out there. It's kind of creepy. Is it closing in? Insufficient. The doctor is in. Need some more Vespine gas, apparently. Not enough minerals. And more SCVs, because that's not saturated enough. By the numbers. You rang. Okay, now we've got some got medics it. to heal up the my units here. Get this SCV to patrol this area so that he'll auto repair any of those structures that gets that get damaged. I'm on it. A creep tumor, let's put a stop to it now. While we can. In these missions you're not really supposed to move out. Oops. But I like to, to see, to see exactly how far I can push it. I forgot that I was going to switch to Brutal difficulty. I just said that earlier, and I forgot that I was going to do that. Sorry. I'll do that next time. Where are you? Okay, I see you. We were actually on our way out. You're okay. Insufficient best being gas. What's that actually a spine crawler's building there? Whoa, gonna get That's fine. The doctor is in. Okay, let's pull back into base now, since we came all the way that far around. I was gonna do something else, what was I gonna do? You know what? I think I'll build an engineering bay and try and get some upgrades going. Oh, not you. You keep doing your thing. Got a fairly sizable force here. Ah, there's something about this mission that I don't remember, but I know it, I know it catches you off guard somehow. Let's get marine weapons upgrading. Insufficient Vespine gas. Evacuation in 12 minutes, it says. Oh, wait, I wanted to see if the speed was still where I wanted it. It is on faster, okay, because my stutter stepping didn't seem to go. Oh, because I don't have stim yet. Armed and ready. I know a lot of this doesn't sound very coherent to a lot of you. I'm sorry. What the? Where? Oh, right there. Whoa, bunker actually went down. Okay, let's change that. Gonna rebuild those bunkers to make sure the Zerg don't actually break through. Oh, they are. They are approaching very fast, though. Base is under attack. More mutalisks causing havoc. All right, so we're actually gonna do this now. One, two, three, four. Those are now. The marines that go in there. God, by the number, been waiting on you. Who wants some? This better be good. That's fine. Wait, been waiting on you. 
up. Keep at it, boys. A ride's on its way. Boy. Yes, sir. This is kind of intense. This is more intense than I remember it being. This better be good. Brutal would be more intense, though. Okay, let's wander back out. Oh, let's actually okay. greet these guys. It's those roaches that take a lot of the punishment. They don't deal a whole ton of damage by themselves. But they do take a lot of punishment. I'm actually going to get another SV to build out here. For safety's sake. Vespian guys over the We need immediate support. Hostiles all around us. Is anyone out there? Okay, let's go get them. Oh, let's pull him back. Oh, I almost saved him. So, Marine. Thanks for the assist. We're with you, Raider. Yes, sir. This SCV is doing a great job of repairing these two bunkers as they're being attacked. <laughs> so we've saved these guys. And we rescued the rebels three times, so that was our that was our bonus objective here. Looking forward to it. More creep being spread. Go, go, go. I want to get up here actually and see. Oh, there's more resources to get. Oh, one inside the base. Maybe that's what I remembered. Base is under attack. Inside, guys. Let's upgrade our armor too. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's get up this hill and see what we can find. We got seven minutes to kill. <laughs> I get it, seven minutes to kill. Get that now! It's another spine crawler. Those hydrolisks we're facing, those are very high DPS units. We need more reinforcements than that. Let's get up there. Oh, that's their base. I don't think I have enough units to actually stop them there. Maybe I do. Let's let them all gather up here real quick. I wonder if four racks is okay. Maybe a fifth racks will be better to add onto it. Now, the more of these buildings I build, the uh, the more army I can produce. Okay, this is a bad move. Let's get out. Let's just retreat. Just flat out retreat. Actually, I can't get up there. And again, this SCV is doing a great. This SCV and these eight Marines in this bunker are doing a. Hold out just a little longer. We'll be getting out of here soon. Thank you, Rainer. That's fine. Let's get these medics over here to heal this poor SCV who's been working so hard. There we go. Our army's macroed up pretty well. Build another barracks, why not? The doctor is in. SCV ready. This better be good. I keep creeping up right to the base. Whoa. Okay, let's lift these up a bit. Our SCVs. The doctor is in. They took down the bunker. Armed and ready. By the number. This better be good. Go to it. Go in. Ah! You scared me. Jordan. You can see I split up my units into two groups. One smaller group to protect this bridge. 
and then the bulk of my forces is group two. I'm actually gonna send these guys over to group one. Go back behind the bunker. No, I'm not gonna be able to build here because of this creep tumor. I build a supply depot. I build that supply depot right there so that the Zergans can't get a full surround. So we can see the sun coming up, actually. That's kind of a neat touch. Go back, go back. Commander, this is Matt Horner. Just hold on. Cavalry's on the way. Take your time, Matt. No rush. Yeah, we got this, we got this. The bunker just got destroyed, but we got this. Base is under attack. This bridge is being held fairly well. This bridge is being held fairly well. Pull back to the bunker. Gotta keep doing that. I just gotta keep supplying reinforcements and we'll be alright. Get you boys out of there. <laughs> oh, the firepower. Zero hour. Very fun. Destroy four Zerg hatcheries in the zero hour mission. That's this mission. On hard difficulty. I'm actually not going to go for that one. you hanging before sir fair enough just get us the hell out of here all batteries concentrate forward firepower spin up drives two and six all hands brace for warp jump on my mark mark We ain't seen the Zerg in years. Why attack Marsara now? It's not just Marsara. You need to see this. Zerg Swarm launched a full-scale attack. Devastation spread throughout all Outer Rim Hull. Sustained heavy losses. Casualties in the billions. Minutes ago, the Zerg attacked a Dominion military research facility. Sweet Mother of Mercy. New exclusive video footage confirms the Queen of Blades is in fact leading the swarm. We always 
knew she'd be back, but what's she after? She's come to finish the job. There's no telling what the Zerg will throw against us this time. Sir, we need to make sure our hardware and munitions are up to the challenge. Yeah, I'll check in with Swan down the armory. Knowing him, he's already got upgrades for us. I hate to ask, sir, but is there a reason that convict's still on my bridge? Easy, Matt. Tychus is one of my oldest friends. He helped me out of a real bind a few years back. I owe him. Well, your friend has a criminal record as long as... Mine? Believe me. If Tychus Finley wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. Understood, sir. So here we are aboard the bridge of the Hyperion. And the cutscene you saw a moment ago of Kerrigan, of the Queen of Blades, yeah, that's what Kerrigan has become. That's what Raynor has been regretting this whole time. So, just like in Joey Ray's bar, we have a number of things that we can click here on the bridge. But the ship, the Hyperion, also has multiple areas where you can travel, such as the armory, and we're here, we're here in the bridge. And the cantina and the laboratory are not yet available for us to travel to. But we can go to the armory and hang out here on the bridge. We can check out the mission archives, which allow us to go back to different missions, and actually I believe that's where we start the next mission? Not sure. But we can talk to Horner and Tychus here. Just how bad is it, Matt? Zerg are attacking all over the sector, sir. Manx pulled the fleet back to protect the Dominion core worlds, leaving the fringe worlds to fend for themselves. It's a nightmare. There's no way we can stop an alien invasion with one capital ship and a handful of volunteers. Best we just stay clear, partner. We can earn ourselves a fortune working for Mobius while this whole thing blows over. You don't get it, convict. This isn't gonna just blow over. The Zerg won't stop until we're all dead. Don't worry, Matt. We ain't sitting this one out. But we're not exactly in tip-top shape, either. We'll earn some cash and build up our forces so we can make a difference when it counts. <laughs> Rainer, level-headed as always. You ever been put in a situation like he's in right now? You know, Matt Horner's right. This whole situation is not going to blow over. I mean, we've got the Zerg advancing on several different fronts, led by Kerrigan, and the Dominion is protecting all of the core worlds, but the fringe worlds are left to fend for themselves. And as Rainer said, just the Hyperion and a bunch of volunteers here in this rebel cause are not going to be able to stop an entire Zerg advancement. Somebody's got to do something about it. Otherwise, you're going to die one way or the other. You ever been put in a situation like that? Of course, not as dramatic. Not, of course, life or death. But uh, I've been in situations where you've, where I've had to. Well, I was the only one who could do something. Where I had to do something. So I can kind of. <laughs> of course, it's nowhere near the scope of what Rainer's been put under. But I re I'm saying I can recognize that that type of stress, where it's something you can't just let blow over. It's something you can't just ride out. There's some things that absolutely require some form of action. It's a good thing Rainer's level-headed here, and he's got Tychus's... how shall we say... employer, Mobius, to provide him with the funds to be able to arm himself and his rebel ca and his rebels of his cause in order to be able to take care of the things that he needs to take care of. One hell of a ship you got here, Jimmy. How'd you get a hold of a floating palace like this? The Hyperion was Mink's flagship back in the day. Me and Matt decided to borrow her when we parted company with him. This old baby's seen us through some tight spots. Speaking of tight spots, Tychus, why are you still wearing that suit on my bridge? Yeah, what, you bust the zipper or something? Okay, so I might have had a little help when I broke out of prison. Let's just say it came at a price. I get to stay locked up in this suit till I pay off all my debts. And who's collecting those debts? Who sprung you? They're Mobius boys, of course. I didn't just run into them in a museum, you know. They want them artifacts something fierce. Your debts better not bite us in the ass, Tychus. Covering for your shenanigans ain't part of the deal. 
I'm gonna see what the mission archives do. I forget what they do. Select a mission. Escape from oh the cinematics. Okay, so these are these are the cinematic missions that we've been through. Of course, they are mission archives. That makes a lot of sense. I believe the star map is where I go for my next mission. So let's head down to the armory first. Meet some of the crew. Hey, everybody, our glorious leader has returned. <laughs> hey, man, what's up, cowboy? What do you got for me, Swan? Uh, the usual, building up our standing forces. Bringing my troops and hardware up to speed, huh? Yep, you can add upgrades for their tech right here on the console. But building an army on the run ain't cheap. You brought back credits this time, right? Look, I know money's been tight. But that artifact we just picked up from Marsar is gonna solve everything. Yeah, I've heard that before, brother. It's different this time. Yeah, I heard that one too. Swan's a straight shooter. So this is the armory. Upgrading what we got is all well and good, but when are we getting new hardware? A lot of gaps in our inventory right now. Sometimes we take a job with some kind of new hardware, and I get a schematic for it so we can make more of them. The plans for other stuff, we gotta either beg, borrow, or steal. Okay, so that tells you pretty much how you acquire new equipment, new things that Swan can build for us. And here we have the armory console. I have 100,000 credits available to me, as you can see. There are upgrades for base buildings, such as the bunker. You can see here, we can pick up the projectile accelerator, which increases the range of all units in the bunker by one. So this void right here is attacking this bunker, and the units inside can actually attack back because they have the range to be able to do it, being inside the bunker, and are able to fight off the void ray. That just shows off an example. We also get Neo Steel, the Neo Steel Bunker upgrade as an option, which is increases the number of bunker slots by two, which means you can, you can put more units inside the bunker. In this case, we see six marines go into each bunker, rather than four. This swarm of zerg is easily held off by 12 marines, whereas eight marines would have had a harder time. We may have lost one of those bunkers. So, each of these upgrades... Oh, this one costs... Uh, the projectile accelerator costs 40,000, and the neo steel bunker costs 50,000 out of our 100,000 credits available. We can also get infantry upgrades. For the Marine, for example, we can purchase stim packs, which grants the stim pack ability. The Marine takes 10 damage when you use it and then fires and moves 50% faster for 15 seconds. It really makes them a lot more valuable. You can see their firepower is much increased versus this wave of Zerglings. And although all the Marines took 10 damage to do that, the amount of damage that they deal back in return is much greater. Also, when you pair marines who are using Stimpak with medics to heal up, then the Stimpak cost is almost negligible, and you gain a massive increase in firepower for no cost over time. They also get the combat shield upgrade, which increases their, which increases their life by 10, making them more durable. It also helps to offset, offset the cost of using Stimpak. You can see here, these Rebellion Marines in blue are able to fight off the Dominion Marines uh, for a longer period of time than they would have normally, normally been able to thanks to the extra 10 HP that they have. Without even really being micro, they're able to take out a much greater number of marines. The medic, we can pick up the advanced medic facilities. Medics no longer require the tech lab add-on. Remember those buildings that I had, those little add-ons that I had to attach to the bunkers, uh, sorry, to the barracks. Uh, I no longer need to do that. Instead, I can attach a reactor core or no attachment at all to the barracks and still be able to produce medics. And there's also the stabilizer med packs, which we don't actually have yet uh, because they cost 105,000, so they're not an option. Medics heal targets faster and more efficiently. You can see here this one marauder being healed is able to take out several roaches with just one, with just one medic to protect him. So, each of these upgrades costs something, costs a certain amount, and I need to decide what I actually want. I'm pretty sure that I want stim pack. That is going to be a definite purchase for me, so I'm going to purchase stim packs. Uh, let's see. Well, that's going to be the first one, and pretty much the only one that I can buy right now. So I purchased stim pack for the Marines. And I don't know if I can actually purchase the combat shield upgrade after that. We'll see. I'm not sure. But if you guys have any input on what I should be purchasing with the credits that we earn 
as we play through the game, let me know. So now all the Marines I build have this Stimpak upgrade. So this is what we were able to do down here at the Army console, and we talked to Swan. The Army becomes a little more expensive as we move on, but let's go back to the bridge. And yes, it is definitely the star map. Uh, actually, here's another NPC. Yeah, uh, sir. Any chance you'll get the lab up and running soon? That'd be great. <laughs> Egon Stepman. So the laboratory where he works is not currently up and running on the Hyperion, and he has nothing to say pertinent to the story at the moment. So we're going to just leave him alone, as he is leaving us alone, playing with his iPad or whatever that is. <laughs> or maybe that's like a Nintendo DS. I don't know. I assume it's something smart and calculative. So anyway. Oh, look, here comes the guy. Just walking by. See you later, dude. Later. I can click on the star map to begin the next mission, but I'm going to go ahead and end this video for now. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.